You built an Eric bot on modal that then was trained on your Slack history. How insightful is AI, Eric? It's pretty stupid. So you can't replace yourself. Maybe it's easy to replace like an enterprise CEO because that's kind of the job is to just write <laughs> things that don't even mean much. Hi, I'm Patrick Chase. I'm here today with Eric Bernardson, founder and CEO of Modal, one of Redpoint's latest investments. Eric, would love for you to take us through what you're building at Modal. So Modal is basically infrastructure for data teams in the cloud. And so I started working on this three years ago. My background is I've been building data products for most of my career and thought it was very hard to build things that run on GPUs and scale things out and schedule things and saw a huge gap in the market. So we started building this at Modal and we now have a lot of wide range of use cases, but focusing on infrastructure for data teams. Maybe can you tell us a little bit more about how you came up with the idea for Modal? You obviously were, were super deep in this in this space. I spent seven years at Spotify, and in particular, I built a music recommendation system at Spotify, but also did all kinds of other stuff with data, everything from like churn analytics to like large scale math reduce, doing numeric analysis to like deep learning back in 2014. It's unnecessarily hard to build data products because the infrastructure often gets in the way. And so in a way, like I started building a tool that I always wanted to have towards the end of 2020, and I realized this makes a lot sense I want to turn this into startup and so that was the genesis one of the things that I think is really exciting about modal is just the breadth of use cases you have people doing AI generated headshots and I think Swix's small developer was using modal and then also big companies like ramp and scale and others how do you see people using modal today it's a very wide range but by far the biggest use case is all kinds of gen AI applications in particular things like stable diffusion for prompt to image but also there's people using this for biotech for protein folding 3D rendering, large language models, of course, video generation, audio transcription, but also like generating audio, like speech synthesis. A lot of people have been using us for music generation. So I think that's really cool, actually. What do you find is really driving people to modal when there's a bunch of different ways that they could be running, whether it's generative AI workflows or anything else? I think you kind of said it, right? Like developer experience. And that was always like the reason why I started models. I, I just wanted to make the data teams more productive. My take on that is that the best way to make teams more productive productive is to make the feedback loops much faster. So that was actually one of the biggest challenges when we started Modal is how do I make that feedback loop super quick, right? Like how do I take code that a customer has on their computer, move that to the cloud and then execute it in the cloud in the container. And in order to do that, we have to build this very messy, complex technology, which is a really fun problem, but also like somewhat crazy for us to take on. And we built our own containers, runtime file system. Now that we have that in place, we can offer this super tight iteration loop and this like magical user experience where you're running things in the cloud but it feels like you're running things locally. And that was always a goal for me. Is I want people to feel the magic of modal when people see it and when they feel the difference, then they're usually hooked and, and then they get it. It's funny because I didn't think about this when I started modal, but that's actually very similar to Spotify, right? Spotify people's like magic moment was like, wait a minute, this is in the cloud, but it feels like it's local. Very is similar. modal the Spotify for data? <laughs> uh, Maybe. That's awesome. Can you talk a little bit about kind of the team that you've put together and some of the folks that have joined you on the journey? I have a background in programming competitions. I've been mostly hiring from that crowd, but also people who built deep infrastructure. I hired a couple of people from my network, from Spotify. So it's a pretty wide range of people with different backgrounds. Why did Redpoint get excited about Modal? One of the things that stood out to me and, and everyone at Redpoint was really the scope of your ambition to rebuild all of this stuff from the ground up and have the vision to start where you guys did and then ultimately bring this product to market, I think is really impressive. Plus the amazing background that you have in data. So I think that's the first thing. Second thing on the product side, the product love was incredible for Modal. Like I remember there was the guy who tweeted about kicking off modal jobs when he was on the plane. The last thing is just the market opportunity. There is an enormous surface area of use cases you could go after with serverless Python, but then with the evolution of generative AI and all of the new workflows that's creating, I think there's a really exciting opportunity for modal to combine a bunch of tools that are in the data stack today.